LEX 18 works hard to keep you informed and give you the information you need to keep your family safe. We report the bad news about crime, but we're also dedicated to let you know when there's more positive news to report. Lexington closed the month of January on a high note. No homicides were reported in the city since the new year. Why is that significant? I looked into the numbers to put this into perspective for you. Take a look at this first graph. I looked all the way back to Lexington police statistics going back to 2008. As you can see, this is the first January going back at least 15 years where there has not been a homicide. And Lexington police confirmed for us 2007 was the last time we didn't have a January homicide. Most years there have been one or two homicides, but some years stand out like six homicides in January 2021, three in 2019, four in January 2016, and three back in 2011. I also took a deep dive into homicides by months over the past three years, and you can see January traditionally has lower numbers of homicides than other months, with the big exception of January 2021. Of course, looking over all the months in the past three years, one number stands out, and that is from May of 2022. There were a total of 11 homicides in that month alone, and in fact, it was the deadliest month ever for Lexington. Well, as we said this year, no reported homicides in January, and that is significant, as we said, because the last time we had a month with no homicides was 2019. LEX 18's Rachel Richardson took a look at the city's efforts to prevent crime. That's right. I'm here in downtown Lexington and there were no homicides reported last month and Lexington PD tells me that the last time there weren't any homicides in the city in a January was in the 2000s. Civic Lex has been reporting on ways that the city is curbing the violence. It could be easy to be cynical and say that it's just the first month of the year and that's so early in the year and things could get worse and you know I suppose that's true. Um, but I think it's always worthwhile to look at the bright spots that we do have. Adrian Bryant, who is with Civic Lex, has been following the prevention efforts of One Lexington. Right now, they're focusing on peer, prevention, intervention, enforcement, and reentry. One Lexington presented its plans before City Council. They plan to take efforts even further by working to fill service gaps in the community. I work in the nonprofit space and in the governmental spheres, and you see a lot of people and nonprofits and organizations that do great work kind of in silos and there's other organizations doing similar work and none of them are communicating with each other and if they are they don't you know collaborate their efforts and so I think it's really wise of him to um, recognize and help the nonprofits or the organizations that are doing these things. We did reach out to Lexington's police department about January's homicide numbers. They said no particular strategies, programs or events can be attributed to it. The city told us, quote, we're only one month into 2023. We are fortunate that so far we have had no homicides. We work on prevention every day. We know we still have a lot to do. Adrian says he sees January's numbers as a positive. It's a real sign of hope that the various different strategies people are working on across the city are working. And, you know, we'll, I'm you know sure that we'll run into further bumps in the road. But I do think that, um, that any, you know, um, any good sign is worth holding on to. One Lexington has reported that it's had several strategic planning meetings to further their violence intervention plans. I'm in Lexington, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.